Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? This is Prey demo opening hour. Uh, I don't know if this game supports any PlayStation 4 Pro enhancement. I don't know that yet. I haven't looked into it, so I have no idea. So, but I'll let you know how the game looks. I can tell you right away that the game does not, at least at the demo, it doesn't support HDR because I don't see any HDR here. Let's double check on that. It is 2160p. Now, we don't know if it's checkerboard or if it's just upscaled. So, I don't know uh, if demo version doesn't support that. Maybe the full version supports it. So, I have no idea at the moment whether or not Prey supports any kind of like patched PlayStation 4 Pro enhancement. So, I have no idea. I'm just going to tell you how the game looks. <clears throat> We're gonna start it. This is a demo, keep in mind. The official game will be released on Friday. So let's check it out. I'm gonna see how the game looks in terms of graphics and what can I do with the uh, calibrations here on Samsung KS 8000 TV. Okay, I'm gonna launch the demo. Let's see the options. Let's see what they have in the options. Let's go to the video. Uh, mode 5 settings. We'll keep it at the balanced. Um, all right. All right, let's launch the demo. We'll go with uh we'll go with a normal. So you get to choose a male or a female. This looks like uh something similar to the Fallout, like Fallout 4. All right, let's go with uh, with a male for now. All right, the one thing I've noticed is it takes a long time to load. But then again, this is a demo. This is not a full version, so I cannot judge demo based on, you know, this. I can only judge a full game, full flesh game. This is a demo. So far it looks pretty good. Uh, this game could easily use HDR. It could easily use uh, checkerboarding in 4K because it looks very nice. Graphically it looks very nice. But remember this is only a demo so I don't know if the full version will be supporting any pro enhancements. Uh, currently these are the settings I'm using right now. Let me show you. These are my uh, calibration settings. Uh, I'm on a standard mode. Uh, I always have my backlit contrast to 100. Uh, I have brightness at the 40 because I want those deep darks to be a little bit darker. Sharpness, I keep it at 40. Color, I keep it at 55 because I feel 55 It's a good balance. It doesn't oversaturate the colors too much. Uh, digital clean view, I keep this on auto but you don't have to honestly but I do auto motion plus I always turn that off it's unnecessary input lag that you're gonna be having with this stuff smart LEDs I keep them at high black levels I keep them automatic dynamic contrast I always keep that off color tone I like the warm one I think I already told you this many times I prefer to keep the color at the warm one because it really gives me that nice balance between uh, yellows and blues and just keeps that nice balance in the middle 
And gamma, I keep it at minus three. Now you're gonna say, why do you keep it at minus three? Because I like to have that deep, dark uh, levels. You know, I like to have them deep, dark levels as much as possible. Because you know, with LCD, LED, edge lit, back lit television sets, it's really hard to get those deep black levels and I think gamma minus three kind of helps with that a little bit some of you will disagree with this remember this is a personal preference this doesn't mean you should go like this it doesn't mean that this is a standard this is not a standard no one would advise you to go minus three but I feel to me personally my own personal preference minus three it gives me those deep dark levels a little bit deep uh, darker instead of being too bright well, let's face it, if you truly want to have deep, dark levels, you got to go with the OLED. OLED is the king of that. But anyway, this is what I'm rocking right now. Color space, I keep it a native. <clears throat> and it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty decent. You know, nothing to write home about, but definitely it looks nice. Obviously, if this demo supported HDR and checkerboard 4K, uh, I would have looked 100 times better, but... It's a demo. I don't know if the uh, official game will be supporting it. We'll see. We'll find out. All right. Let's talk to this. Uh... Morning, Mr. Yu. Ah, let's throw it. Hold on. <clears throat> Alright, let's continue here. Let's go inside the elevator. Let's go to my floor. By the way, the sound is really good. I like the sound in the game. It looks really... Uh, it sounds really good. Let's open it. Chopper's waiting for me right here. I don't know. I mean, graphically, it's okay. Uh, the textures don't seem to be that... Uh, as you can see right here, the textures right here are really medium, bland, and uh, uh, not, not, not really impressed with the demo so far in terms of graphics. Uh, I know PlayStation 4 Pro can handle these textures a little bit better. But then again, this is a demo. This is not a full official game. Hopefully they will patch this up and fix this up. It kind of reminds me of uh, that game from... Uh, you know the one that EA did where you run around jumping around from different buildings to other buildings? Uh, I forgot the name of the game. <clears throat> but it reminds me of that. Let's go inside a helicopter. You see like the graphics like right here, like the textures are like very bland, very medium. It's like not really impressed with the... Look, look at that door. It looks just flat. There's no artifact on there. It's like, it's like it looks flat. So the textures are like... I'm not impressed with the textures. It's, this looks but ugly, man. Not good. Nah. But it's a demo. I, uh, you know, I just hope the demo doesn't turn out to be the same in the full version, you know. Bethesda Softworks presents.
Well, here's the thing. Uh, currently, right now, I'm not impressed with the graphics. Uh, I know PlayStation 4 Pro can do a hell of a lot more than this. Uh, the textures are very bland. Uh, even in the distance, the mountains look like very crappy, very shitty. Uh, I'm not really impressed with the graphics. I mean, even Grand Theft Auto V had better <laughs> graphics, and it was an open-world game, even on PlayStation 3. So I'm really disappointed in the graphics. You know, uh, I'm, this doesn't make me excited right now for the full release of the game. Because, uh, come on, it's a PlayStation 4 Pro. You're not using full advantage of the PlayStation 4 Pro. I mean, come on, man, it's 2017. There's no reason to have such a shitty graphics like this. You guys can see it. I suggest that you go ahead and... Uh, Download the demo. Download the demo. Check it out for yourself and you will see what I'm talking about. Now, I don't want to shit too much on the game because this is a demo. It's not a full version. So it would be unfair for me to judge this game based on the demo. But so far what I'm seeing on the demo, look at the textures. This is but ugly. This is but ugly. This is just developers. I hate to use the word, but just developer developers being lazy, man. Uh, and this is what I'm afraid for Scorpio as well. I'm afraid that's, that developers on Scorpio will be lazy too. You know, because sometimes they don't want to spend too much time utilizing all that power. Granted, PlayStation 4 Pro can give you much better textures than this. 4 teraflops can give you a, a high textures easily at like 38 to 32 frames per second. They can easily take care of that, all right? Mark Cerny has shown that long time ago that they can do that. But this this is just... Look look at the mountains over here, man. It just looks ugly. Just look. Look how blend they look. It's just r ridiculous. Hold on. Look. Look at these mountains, man. Like, they look but ugly over there. Uh, yeah, man. I'm not really impressed with this. I'm not impressed at all. <sighs> But anyway, let's continue. Look look at the textures here. Oh my god. Look at this. This is but ugly. Come on, Bethesda. Seriously? This is coming from people who did Skyrim, who did uh Fallout. Look at these mountains over there. I mean, I have to take the camera out. Hold on, out of the tripod. I, I got to show you this. I mean, come on, man. And you want me to spend $60 this Friday on this, this garbage? And this is a PlayStation 4 Pro. Look at this garbage, man. Come on, man. Look at this. Even PlayStation 1 had better graphics. Even PlayStation 2 had better graphics than this, man. Look, this, this is what I'm talking about, guys. I know some people disagree on this. It's 2017. There's no excuse for this. Seriously, get off your lazy ass. Put some fucking effort. Make a good game. I have to use the F word because now I'm pissed. I hate these lazy developers and then they want our cash. They want us to spend $60. Really, man? And this is what you're releasing? I would be even ashamed to release a demo like this. I would never release a game nor a demo unless I know for a fact that the game it's ready for prime time I mean look at this garbage if I was running Xbox One S okay I I'll understand that because the Xbox One S it's not powerful enough to handle it but we're talking about PlayStation 4 Pro man come on man with 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 4 teraflops come on man you can do better than this my 1060 can do better than this there's no excuse there's really Literally, there's no excuse for this. This is ridiculous. All right, let's get back to this. And I'm sorry, guys, but I have to tell you the truth. I don't want to lie to you. I don't want you to spend $60, $63, and waste it on this game if it looks this garbage. I would say save your money. Don't go buying this game in the beginning of Friday. Wait a few days. See if they fixed it. See if they patch it up. See if they uh, put some new updates because uh, if this is how the full version is going to look, then this is not good, man. This is, uh, it's not that good. Anyway, let's continue. Hello, Dr. Yu. I'm a Sybil 495 science class operator. Can I help you? 
calibrating. Our research often requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test, if necessary. All right, let's go to the elevator. I mean, the textures are just but ugly, man. I'm sorry, man. It's hard for me to... I, I cannot... Ex I I'm sure the game has a good story, but it's hard for me... Morgan, finals. Look, it's hard for me to settle for this. You know, uh, this is 2017. There is no excuse for you to be running such a low textures seven year old type of a kind of a graphics into a playstation 4 pro uh it just shows me that developers are being lazy they don't want to utilize it they don't want to spend time for whatever the reasons and uh this is why i'm not a fan of third party games this is why i prefer exclusives i hate third party games i prefer exclusives now activision it's a little bit different. What they're doing with their Call of Duty games, obviously they have more money so they can utilize uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, Xbox, Scorpio. Like Call of Duty World of War II will look fucking fantastic on Scorpio this November. So everybody will be buying that game with Scorpio coming this November. The game's going to look sick. Well, it will look sick on both PlayStation 4 Pro, but especially on the Xbox uh, Scorpio. <clears throat> so I'm sorry, guys, if I'm shitting on this game but i have to be honest with you i don't remember the whole point of me having this channel is to be honest with you i don't want to lie to you i'm not sponsored by Bethesda. i'm not sponsored by anybody i'm a freelancer i'm telling you exactly what i'm seeing and if you don't like it well that's too bad then you don't want to hear the truth you just want to hear what you want to hear i mean look at the textures i mean it's just garbage man Hey, you don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but that's a new family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's gonna walk you through the process. You're in good hands. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your brother in New May. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. I can already tell you what's going to happen in this game. The, the accident's going to go wrong. Some creatures from another dimension is going to show up. Um, the characters are good. I like the uh, animation on the characters. Even the, the... Look, I mean, when you look at this game... And you look at Decima Engine. You if look you at the... Way into Rume. Hold on, I gotta say something. When you look at this game, and then you compare it to Horizon Zero Dawn, and you look at the Decima Engine, there's no foliage here. There's nothing here. I mean, there's no hair works. Everything looks like he's being taped to. Uh, this is why... I, I keep saying, Decima Engine... And this is why Hideo Kojima is so excited about Decima Engine and Death Stranded because he sees a huge potential on the Decima Engine. And Unreal Engine 4 has yet to Unreal Engine 4 has yet to impress me. So Decima Engine I think is the way of future. Even David Cage talked about Decima Engine and how good it is. Uh, it's 2017, guys. There's no reason to have this kind of like seriously, Bethesda Get off your sorry ass, your lazy ass. Go out there, create a new engine, use the power of PlayStation 4 Pro, use the power of Scorpio, stop being so lazy. There's no reason for you to have such a flat textures like this. I'm sorry, but, but I have to be honest, guys. Alright, so let's go over here really quick. Testing room. And I know some of you... I know some of you will hate 
me for saying this, but I have to be honest with you guys. Remember, uh, the whole idea here is for me to be honest with you. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Just go to that. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. All right. Wonderful. That's, you're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B then. All right, let's go to the room B. Okay, Morgan, listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time, relax, and get over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. What I'm gonna hide? Mm, uh, any synaptic register at all? No? That's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. We're doing marvels. All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. All right. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Sir? I'm sorry, exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. All right, let's see what the last one's going to be. Probably some monsters will come out of it. and It's going to be like some test going haywire. Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Yes. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Press start on the screen when you're ready. All right. This is from quiz test questions. Let's check them out. You're planning a vacation. Uh -huh. Go somewhere familiar you know you love or try something new. I like to try something new. Good. Looks like you got the hang of it. Keep going. You've been uh, sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? Uh, I'm afraid. I don't know what will happen. Ooh, that's heavy stuff. A runaway train is bearing down on the five people who are tied to the truck. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. So I'm going to switch tracks, I guess. Good. Next. A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. <laughs> Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Uh, push the fat man. Almost done. A runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping on the track, but you would die. How about this? I do nothing. Interesting. I don't well, want to die for the fat man. Well done. We're nearly through it. 
For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what... Uh, my coffee. It's empty. <laughs> There, I told you this was going to happen. I knew it. <laughs> the darkness has taken him. Oh, that's weird. We just woke up in the same place that we were in. In the beginning. That's interesting. It's an interesting game. Uh, here's here's my uh, thoughts on it so far. It's an interesting game, but uh, graphically, I'm not impressed. You know, uh, that's my only uh, beef with the game. Is graphically, it doesn't look that good. I was really hoping that it would take the advantage of PlayStation 4 Pro, uh, but. Looks like it's not doing it because, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe this is just a demo. Uh, I don't want to be too harsh in the game because it is a demo. Uh, you know, we'll see how the full version is. I would recommend that you don't jump in and buy this game on Friday. I would wait for people to try it out first. Go to YouTube, see what people are saying about the game. Uh, see if the graphics have improved, if they have done any kind of improvements on it. Granted, I would go with the PC version. If you have a PC, you want to go with the PC. I think PCs look the best. But currently, right now, what I'm seeing from the demo, PlayStation 4 Pro, is just not looking that good. You know. Danger, leave now. They're telling me to leave. I guess I should leave. Should I take the shower first? Oh, come on, really, dude? You can't even look at yourself in the mirror? I mean, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, you know, you want to make this game to has all this cool story to it to be so interesting, but yet you don't want to put too much effort to make the game more immersive these are like the basic things you gotta have in the game you know <sighs> come on anyway I'm just not impressed so far guys um, with the game uh, graphically, I'm not impressed. It has an interesting story. I'm sure the story is going to be interesting and intriguing, but... It's like, come on, really? You know, you're not going to spend too much effort to... make the graphics better. What the hell is this? Take the wrench. Hello, Morgan. It's time we spoke. My code name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. All right, guys, uh, here's the deal. I'm not going to try to spoil this demo too much for you. I just wanted to show you my first impression of the game and what I think about it. Um, here's the deal. The graphics could have been better. Uh, I'm not really impressed with what I'm seeing. Considering this is the demo, I mean, you're releasing a demo, and this is what you're showing me. 
uh, I'm not impressed. You know, you, you should definitely impress me with your demo. You should definitely show me that you're taking advantage of PlayStation 4 Pro with HDR and checkerboard 4K, higher rich textures, you know. But apparently developers of Bethesda, they haven't done that, you know. Are they going to do in a full version? I don't know. I can't guarantee you that. Look, I'm only here to tell you what I'm experiencing. I'm only here to tell you what I'm seeing. And so far, I would save my money. I wouldn't jump on uh, the bandwagon and buy this on Friday. I would wait till like Saturday or Sunday, uh, see what other people are saying about the game, look at the reviews, and you know, and then wait for the updates. Once they get the updates going and everything, then you would go ahead and then purchase the game. Seems like a very interesting game, but uh, uh, disappointing to see the graphics not being taken full advantage of it. I mean, it's 2017 for crying out loud, you know. Come on, guys. Come on, developers. Anyway, some of you will hate uh, will hate this video. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm just here to tell you what I'm seeing. And if you don't trust me, if you don't believe me, uh, demo is free. Go ahead, download the demo for yourself, and you will see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay? Now, it's not all about the graphics, right? If the game has a really good, intriguing story, that's awesome. But, you know... They didn't even put mirrors, like, really? You can't even put mirrors in this game? Like, a, a basic stuff. I don't know. That's all I have to say, guys. And uh, you be the judge. Download the demo. It's free. Check it out for yourself. And you make your own judgment. I'm just here to give you my opinions, my thoughts. That's about it. All right. Have a good one, though. Take care.